Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here, sorry for that. Um, today I will be executing this look using the Norvina by Anastasia palette. I am in love with this palette. I'm going to try and do the seven looks one palette challenge, I guess you could call it. I got this, I kind of explained it in the video. Um, I got this from a Facebook group I'm in as a wish list item, which if that doesn't make sense, again, I explain it later. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. As always. And again, I have a mirror to my right side. So I'm just going my skin has been like extra extra dry lately even with me putting a bunch of moisturizer on so my face just does not like me lately but good news is that I also started a new job and so far I'm liking it I'm just basically like a waitress and like a server I work for like a little ice cream shop I'm not going to say which one just because I'm trying to keep myself safe here not saying that anyone would, but just trying to keep myself safe as just a precaution. Um, so basically I serve like custard, I can I serve like hamburgers and that kind of thing. And um, so far I'm liking it. I'm kind of learning like how to make everything, minus like the food food. Um, it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm only, tomorrow's my third day. So today I'm filming, filming this on Friday before Memorial Day. So tomorrow on Saturday is my next or it'll be my third day working and it's it's pretty fun already I mean a lot of the people that I work with are female and they're awesome <laughs> I love working with them um, my boss is pretty cool my sister slash roommate also just got a job there um, but she's like gonna work in the kitchen my sister roommate or whatever is also the one who edits my videos so that's kind of cool that like we'll be working together and it's literally like right down the road from us so we don't have to worry about like driving and that kind of thing and it's full or not full time but um it can be full time if we want and um it's also year round is the word i was looking for so it's not just like a summer job which i really wanted not a summer job i wanted like a full year round job because i also applied at like the target by me but i haven't heard back but it, also they have like this huge sign saying that they're hiring. But then like when I went to apply on their website, literally nothing was hiring. So I don't know what's going on there, but Target, you need to fix your stuff because you're lying. Oh, I was taking, I'm taking the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation in 1505 beige as always and then my real techniques sponge I've been so out of this because I like pre-recorded quite a few videos and like the last it's a graduation vlog thing I guess if you want to call it that um, I re really wasn't like talking I was just like jamming out to music and so there's that but that was recorded literally last Friday so it's been a week since I recorded and it's just kind of weird because now I feel like I'm not used to it, which is odd. But, you know, we're just going with it. Um, and in the uh, vlog, I guess if you want to call it, or like the get ready with me, um, I am not the one graduating. It's my editor, roommate, sister, whatever you want to call her, um, who is graduating. She graduated from the digital media technology or something like that. Um, Basically, she does like video editing and that kind of thing, so that's why she edits my videos. Um, and then obviously, I had graduated the semester previous. My nose is really itchy. Um, in a degree for photography, so I also did a photo shoot on Thursday morning, and it was so fun. I did my cousin's baby, so it's also my cousin. Um, I did her baby's like first year or first birthday like cake smash photos. And it was where the wild things are themed and it was the cutest i'll have to see if i can insert pictures or like if she'll let me that kind of thing um 
otherwise they are like on my personal Facebook page if you know me personally or have seen them. I will probably eventually post them on like my Instagram, my personal Instagram, um, which I believe is linked below. I'm not really sure. Um, otherwise it's linked on my, my normal Instagram, my makeup Instagram. So, and I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer in C4, which again is too light for me, but your girl has not gotten her first paycheck, so she cannot go get the shade that she needs. So we just work with it. That was way too much up there. Honestly, I love this concealer. It's definitely worth the like $22 that it is. It's so creamy and full coverage and just 10 out of 10. And again, that was in C4. You probably can't see that, but I'm telling y'all. So, I don't really know what else to talk about. Like, I've talked about my job, what I've done the last, like, week or two. Uh, I guess, I don't know. Tell me if you've worked places, like, that have been either full-time or part-time that you could, like, choose, like, which is more worth it, I guess. Like, if I have the option to go full-time, should I? Or should I wait and, like, see how I like things and then decide or, like... You know what do I do because my last job was last summer at like another ice cream place and it was only part-time but like I got the most hours and I loved it like it was fun I made a lot in like tips and just a lot oh I didn't really make a lot I made minimum minimum wage so that kind of sucked but like it was still a fun job regardless and I really liked it see this is weight I look like literally like a ghost I'll try and fix this later. <laughs> um, and this job I'm making almost 250 more. I make 950. Uh, like I said before, I was making exactly minimum wage. And it was my first job, or like first technical job besides like babysitting. Ignore all the screaming. <sighs> Boys. And their video games. Um, and like I really like who I'm working with and I work with a lot more people before. I used to literally work with like either myself or one other person and now I'm working with like three to seven ish people usually a day which is way different I'm not used to it yet but it's definitely a lot nicer like when you're in the busy times also I'm going into my Park Avenue Princess by Tarte palette and going in with this shade which is Princess Cut um, I don't know, I just like working with more people. I think it's a little bit more like control, like not controlled, but it's a little bit more like free because like you're not constantly worried like, oh my God, we have, you know, 10 people in line. Like, what are we gonna do kind of thing? It's more like, okay, we have 10 people. Each person, you know, take two people instead of, you know, okay, I'm just one person. I have 10 people out the door kind of thing. It's a lot lot better so far like I said I really like it I'm sure I'll change my mind by the end of summer <laughs> or something but for now I'm okay with it um, I really would like to find something like in that was kind of I kind of messed that up in like a beauty type of industry but I'm just not really sure yet like I kind of thought about going to school for makeup but I feel like a lot of the only thing I really need to know is like how to match people and like their skin tones because like I'm okay with doing makeup on other people, it's just like, I don't know how exactly to do a lot of the things, or not a lot of the things, but like, how to properly contour on every, you know, every person, because I have pretty high cheekbones, like, even without contour, you can see my cheekbones and whatnot. Uh, I had a photographer tell me once that in high school, that I had really, really nice cheekbones, and I was like, okay, like, gotta, okay, and now that I'm doing makeup, totally get it, I'm totally going off track of what I'm saying, but, you know, I have literally nothing better to do, I'm literally sitting in my room talking to myself, talking to a camera, so, you know, to any normal person, this would, you know, I'd be locked up, but for a YouTuber, this is normal. <laughs> So again, 
I have no highlight on yet and like okay. my hair is like everywhere also so ignore that uh, also if you're caring this was the Luxie 660 precision foundation brush oh my god I was totally using the wrong brush this is not the normal brush that I use for my contour I was wondering why it was a little bit weirder I usually use the Luxie 512 small contouring brush. So, um, whoops. Usually I use this brush, not the blue brush. This is actually usually my blush brush. So, we're just gonna go in with the Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. It's just a fluffy brush. I do not use it for highlighter. I am going to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Corky with this Luxie brush. And just. That'll go on my brush. No. Look at how much, like, difference there is there. So I'm looking really white, but everything else is really dark. It's like, there's something in my eyeball. It's literally, uh, 546-ish. That won't focus either. You know what, whatever. Anyways, it's almost six o'clock, so I'm feeling it's pretty late for it to go up to, literally tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to go in with this highlight that I've never once used. It's by Lottie London in the shade The Good Girl. I need to get Z palettes. I've, I keep putting it off because I feel like I don't want to spend the $20 for one, even though it's something that like I really, really need. Um, and I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And now I'm at the point where I have so many of these that it's literally just insane and I need to get a palette. So. Now that I have a job, it's probably going to be soon, hopefully, unless like a boxy charm wants to be like amazing and oh, I have a hair stuck to my nose. Unless boxy charm wants to literally be amazing and like put one, like a large one in our next box, especially like boxy lux, which also I will be unboxing boxy lux for June. It is a subscription that I get and I love. So. I don't think anything got on there. Okay. Okay. It's, it's pretty. Y'all probably can't see it. But like. Okay. Lottie London. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. And I've had this for quite a while now. It's kind of a shame that I'm just now using it, but you know, I, like I said, I, I kind of forget about them because they're in these and like not in a palette where like I have all my palettes that like I use because I literally have like a huge bucket to the right of me. I kind of rearrange my makeup desk. I'm hopefully going to get uh, a vanity soon and like just rearrange everything and then I'll do like a full desk tour um this last weekend uh, my dad actually like hung a mirror this side of me so it's like a huge like 24 by 30 mirror it's literally amazing but I'm trying to get lights on the side of it but we have to hardwire them if you don't know what that means it's basically instead of wiring it to a wall you wire it to like a not like a just like a cord that plugs into the wall, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So we have to do that, but I also have to get the money for the lights. So I'm just waiting on that basically. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'm sure I will update you guys, whether it's on my Instagram or through my YouTube. So next I'm going in with my Iconic London that's extremely messy and medium. If 
second open it. I am struggling. This highlight is literally so pretty. I'm gonna dump all that little thing. And then as always, go in with the light shade. I'm gonna pull my mirror really close. Cause I am blinder than a bat. And my nose is so itchy. So anyway, let's get that. You put on foundation, the minute you put on foundation, and oh my god, your nose is itchy. Itchy. that my brows are done and again not looking anything alike this one's way more arched than I expect I am going to actually spray my face I haven't been setting my face because someone said that it's bad for dry skin which I definitely have so I've been trying to go there's so much without it oh. I've been trying to go without setting, or not setting spray, setting powder for a little bit. It's somewhat working, we're not, I'm not really sure yet. So I'm gonna try, with these videos, I'm gonna try to do this new thing where it's like, the seven looks one palette. I'm just gonna quickly do this while I'm doing, talking about it. Um, I just recently got the Nervina by um, Anastasia. I love this palette so far. It is literally amazing. Um, I got it from a makeup group I'm in on Facebook. Um, there's this thing called a wish list, um, and I was fortunate enough to get on it finally after about a year and a half, two years. Um, and I love this makeup group. I will put it in the description below. You can tell them that I sent you. Um, and I'm not getting obviously I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm searching for makeup groups. And the, I guess like owners or whatever you want to call them, like the admins, are literally the nicest people. They're the greatest, awesomest people. Anyway, so they have a wish list when you're super, super active in the group. You're commenting, you're posting things, that kind of thing. And this was my wish that I had wanted. And a girl very, very awesomely um, bought it for me and that kind of thing. So what happens with the wish list is that... Um, you know, you get invited to put something on the wish list when you're, you know, active and that kind of thing. And then, um, I totally lost my train of thought. Um, and then what happens is that other members can buy the item for you, basically, and that's how you get your wish. So, a very, very awesome lady paid for this and then also got me an extra bonus item which I was totally not expecting, which is this Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, lip scrub. If it'll focus. There we go, in pink lemonade. So that was a total bonus like item. I totally was not expecting it. So she was super, super awesome for that. Anyways, I'm again going completely off topic. So I'm going to go in with this palette. I'm gonna do seven different looks with it so that'll be my next couple videos most likely unless i have like a random one or two in there so this palette is oh my god it got it dirty is so smooth because it's like a velvet i love this this is my first ever anastasia product let alone palette and here are the colors they're literally so stunning like pretty much the whole top is just all shimmers amazing so i'm going to go in with this first color down here 
called Vase. Oh, I was using the Alamar Cosmetics, just super fluffy brush. That's just to put a base on. And then I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild fluffy brush that I talk about all the time. And I'm going to go in with this color, this orangey color right here called Eccentric. I doubt that focus and I'm so sorry. It is the second from the right on the bottom if you look at the palette. Just going to go in with this small. I just need to hide. <laughs> it's not gonna focus. Anyways, it's just a small packer brush from Alamar Cosmetics, and I'm going to go into this top shade here called Dreamer. going to grab a small it probably won't focus just a very very small 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 brush that has a cat hair on it I <laughs> don't know how it's just a very very small brush okay and then I'm going to go into this like periwinkle type of shade here okay there we go so I'm going to go into the shade called soul So then this is what the eyes look like. This one side is just a little bit more because I went in with a little bit too heavy of a hand. It's just super, super simple with that little pop of color in the inner corner. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. bit of my El Maquillage mascara just a little little coat and then I'm going to go in with these Lashaholic lashes and these are in Instaglam oh my god I have the hiccups I got these in a boxy charm and they are so so pretty
So these are the eyelashes. And then I'm just going to go in, oh my god, it's so itchy, with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lippy in Daddy. lipstick is literally the perfect nude I love it so this I will take my hair down this is the final look so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this absolute crazy video because I talk way too much uh, leave a like down below if you did, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.